Hey everyone, it's Mark. Welcome to Mark Goes Hiking. Today I'm going to be talking with my friends Crow and Doug from Backcountry Pilgrim. We're going to be talking about breakfast and morning routine. And most importantly, we're going to be trying cold instant coffee. Let's see how that turns out. So wait till the end of the video where we do that. In the meantime, make sure you like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hit that bell notification so you know when I drop more videos on YouTube. Let's get this conversation started. Hello, Doug. Hello, Brad. How's it going today? Hey, what's up? It's good to talk to you guys again. Crow, it hasn't been too long since Kentucky. You've been well? Yeah, man. I'm, I, I'm missing that trip already. That was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I'm excited to do that trip again when it's not in the 90s and 100% humidity, though. I'd like to do that in the fall. Absolutely. So with this particular topic, um, all I know is that the three nights, the three mornings that we're in Kentucky together, Crow, uh, I woke up and you are already up, already tearing down your camp. So what I wanted, <laughs> but, but I didn't really get to see like, when did you eat breakfast? Um, or, or did you eat, I don't even know if I saw you eating in the morning. So what is your approach to, to your mornings? Do you like to, to like tear down and eat or do you not even eat breakfast or what, what's your, uh, What's your plan each morning when you backpack? You know, when I, Mark, when I get up, I, I get up bef usually before the sunrise, I guess, because I'm becoming an old man and, and I just get up before the sunrise. And I usually go to bed early too. I think you saw that. But when I get up, I, I usually am just getting up and just looking at the sunrise or something like, you know, filming things or whatever. And then breakfast is kind of a secondary thing. I'm not really a breakfast person. In fact, I was talking, I was thinking about breakfast the other day when somebody said that they liked oatmeal. And I think of oatmeal like uh, in the Matrix movie. You remember when the, he, he eats his first meal on the actual ship? And he's never eaten before because he was always in the Matrix and they try that thing and he says it tastes like cream of wheat. But that's how I see oatmeal, that kind of sloppy. And I've never been able to eat it, though I know it would be good for me. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Doug? What's your approach to the mornings? Well, I'm definitely a breakfast guy, um, so even though I usually just have something that I can uh, make fairly quickly because I'm also lazy, um, I definitely look forward to breakfast. So that is even probably more than dinner. I, I like to have something decent for breakfast. But um, yeah, typically like, you know, I got, you know, I'm trying out some different mountain house meals. Um, this is the breakfast skillet. Give it about a B plus. Um, a lot of that stuff's good, but honestly, uh, I'm an oatmeal guy. Um, I like it. It's just quick and easy. I don't typically eat oatmeal like on normal days. So for me, it's almost kind of a kind of a treat in a sense. It's not that I love it and I just don't eat it and I hold off or whatever. Um, it's just something I don't usually eat. So it's something I look forward to. I make sure I bring some good stuff to put in it. But I like to kind of keep it simple. I just want to pour some hot water in a bag, eat and go. So what's your approach? Do you like to tear down camp first and then... Eat, eat some food or you kind of like wake up then eat and then tear down camp or what how do you approach that no I, I don't tear down camp until I'm ready to go because I don't know what's going to happen um, if the weather changes or something and I need to get back in shelter like I'm not just going to dump my breakfast and leave um, so typically like I'll just kind of cook right outside the door in the vestibule just get some water going and then I'll go out and sit out and just kind of enjoy my morning and once I've had the coffee and the breakfast and everything's put away, then I break down and head out. So I'm kind of similar to that too. Um, I'll wake up if I'm tent camping and I'll open up one of the vestibule doors if I had it closed at night and I'll get some water going for coffee. Um, but I don't really do anything hot for breakfast other than coffee. Um, I'll typically do um, some granola. I'll put granola in a Ziploc bag and then I'll also put some freeze dried food in there. Um, like some strawberries or some apples. I do know for the, um, I think it was the Wisconsin trip I was just on in July, I took the uh, freeze dried apples and then I took some of those little peanut butter packets. And my breakfast was literally eating a bag of dried apples and spreading cinnamon uh, peanut butter, cinnamon almond butter over the, uh, the dried apples. And that was really good. And I was just eating that when I was waiting for my water to boil. And frankly, that was, that was really good. So it's kind of more like you, you're eating your snacks for breakfast, basically. Yeah, it kind of feels that way. And sometimes I just don't feel like eating granola right away. You know, and sometimes it's just a little, I don't know if it's heavy in the morning or I just, I don't know. We eat a lot of bars when we hike, you know, so it's, 
like sometimes eating granola first thing in the morning is like oh great another bar is kind of what it tastes like but it's it's I good energy yeah i wish i wish i liked oatmeal because it seems like it's a good energy thing and and I, i'm going i'm going to have to just try it just break down and try it again but i'm like you mark i i usually got a bar like i got these uh these uh cliff bars the protein ones that have a lot of protein and i, I get tired of bars in the morning like I, you know but have y'all ever done like the uh the breakfast essentials like the carnation things where you put in water have you done those as a kid but uh, never never backpacking as an adult <laughs> Not a bad idea. Do you guys, do you guys like to? Maybe I missed this, Crow, as you're talking, but do you like to just get up and get on the trail pretty quickly, or are you? I know you don't really eat breakfast, but you kind of take your time getting up and get get going in the day, or do you like to pack up and let's get rolling? I like to I like to get rolling as fast as I can. You know, as fast as the sun comes up. Just you know, for our our last trip, it was so we could beat the heat, but. Um, I, I like to get camp down, set down, and move on as quickly as I can, but I don't do that very well. I've had a hard time um, getting things organized. It's just like, I don't know, it's just kind of a, I can't get it all straight in my head. If I don't have a, a precise process, then I get disorganized or something. I don't know, it's some, some disconnect in my head. I don't know, but I try to do it as fast as I can, to, t to tell you the truth. Yeah, what about you, Doug? Uh, it kind of depends on what kind of hiking I'm doing. Like, I, I don't typically backpack to camp. Um, I mean, I've done that, but usually when I'm backpacking, it's because I'm hiking and I just can't get somewhere that I want to get to in one day um, or there and back in one day. So if if I'm just backpacking so that I can get somewhere, I'll usually just break down and, and take off. Like, I'm not going to sit up and enjoy the sunrise and read a book and drink my coffee and, and you know, make a morning out of it. Um, but but if I'm I'm if I'm kind of going for more of a destination backpack where like where I'm going is where I want to be, um, then I will just totally chill in the morning and not be in a huge hurry. But like Crow said, there's a lot of different factors because you know maybe you're just trying to get moving and it's going to be hot, so you want to get moving as quick as possible. Um, but I try to go as fast as I can. But I also kind of like Crow said, I I don't like feeling all discombobulated, like I don't know where things are, or I'm forgetting something, probably gonna lose my spoon again, um, like everybody seems to do. So I, I don't I don't rush, because I'd rather just be sure that when I leave, everything's good to go. Um, but I don't typically just sit around to sit around either. We're gonna, we're gonna bring this morning conversation to a close, but I'm gonna challenge us all right now, and y'all might hate me for it, but I love Darwin on the trail. Love watching through hikes. I love watching his channel. It's, it's my absolute favorite channel. And he drank cold, instant coffee while hiking the PCT. And I think he still does now. I don't know. But I'm willing to give it a try. I have never tried cold, instant coffee. I can only imagine it tastes pretty bad, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Are you guys willing to give it a shot with me? You betcha, man. I'm sure it's going to taste pretty bad to me <laughs> now okay i will say you know darwin never has a full bottle you know he uses a smart water or, or smart water or life water bottle and he does this it's never full it always looks like maybe half or a little more than halfway full so that's what i'm going to go with i'm halfway full and are you guys all ready to to dump your coffee in there and shake it up so we're all I'll we're all doing this together here. we'll wait for doug before we drink. But I got mine poured in, I'm gonna shake it up. I'm putting some of this uh, breakfast essentials in here just to see if, since I, so I won't have to just do it for the first time on the trail. I'm gonna see if it's any good. It could be phenomenal. <laughs> How do you know when it's mixed? Uh, you just shake it. I'm shaking it. I, at one, we're gonna drink. Five, four, three, right. two, one. Drink. Yeah, no, I'm not in. I need. Uh, not in? Yeah, no, I, I need. Uh, I need something else. You know, you're a basic coffee dude, huh? I'm. I'm pretty much a total girl. Yeah, when it comes to drinking coffee. Hey, I like my pumpkin spice oh, lattes. Yeah. I, I'll admit it. That's actually really good. I actually like mine. 
I'm glad you said this, uh, Mark, because I, I kind of like this. I poured the whole thing of the breakfast essentials in there, and, and it tastes kind of like a cold mocha or something, I mean, with the coffee flavor. So I'm, I'm good with it. I'm going to drink more. I think for me, if it's, if it's 90 some degrees outside, that means my water in the morning is probably going to be pretty warm. This is not cold water, but it's, it's been sitting in my air conditioned house. And so it's not warm, but I think on the last two trips I was on, I don't think this would be very good because the water was not cold at all. Um, that could be a game changer for me, but this, like this, I, I love it. I, I'll do this all day long and not have to bother with heating up water. So I'm a fan. So, so Doug, you're out for the morning cold coffee. I'm in, and it sounds like Crow, you're in. I'm in. All right. All right, what about you viewers? Are you in for cold coffee? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you have a different way to do coffee in the morning besides eating it? Is there a mix that you like? Is there a certain brand that you like? Leave that in the comments box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Crow, for joining me in this conversation. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the trail. But I don't know how much to put in, so this is probably going to taste like disgusting. Get a drink, Doug. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Well, I'll say it. It looks like mud is what it looks like. Caffeine, baby!